There's a variety of robots in this competition with different morphologies. Some of them are on wheels and some of them have multiple legs, some of them are on tracks. I think that legs offer specific advantages if, if the environment you want the robot to operate in justifies them. So going over very rigid terrain, humanoids are quite good for going into narrow spaces. They have a, typically a narrow form factor and they're typically uh, well designed uh, for operating in human environments. Humanoids are great if you're looking at human environments because there is an existence proof that a human can move around and do stuff in that environment, right? It was designed around humans. Our take on it though is that if you actually break all of the requirements down, taking a more monkey and ape inspiration, the simian inspiration, is going to lead to a more effective robotic system for the, the problem at hand. With the biped, the stability is an issue, and you see here many creative solutions, in particular with wheels and a larger footprint that increases the stability of the robot. This robot has a very unique form, so as we're doing things, we find really unusual ways to solve the problem. For example, he, he steers with his track. He doesn't use his hands to steer, he uses his little track and pushes it against the steering wheel and spins it with a track. Well, that's certainly not something a steering wheel is designed to do, but the non-humanoid form does it very well. The challenge of the legged robot is that uh, your feet are making and breaking contact with the ground. You have to think a lot about the way you impart force on the ground, the way the, the ground affects you, your motion. The same thing's true if you wanted to have robot arms build cell phones. And it seems ridiculous that small parts you think would be great for robots, but robots are actually not good at controlling small contact forces when they're doing parts assembly. I really believe that the problem of balancing a humanoid robot is actually gonna, helping us understand that, is gonna help us understand how to make manufacturing robots or robots that have to um, go into your body and help with a surgeon perform some advanced surgery. Or, all these things are, are subtle interactions between the robot and the environment which we're capturing by balancing this robot on this crazy obstacle course.